Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends. We're going to be going over one of my favorite champions in the game. Well, one of my favorite epic, epic champions in the game, Royal Guard. Now, I've always wanted him back in the day when there was stage 15 of things in the game. Even back when I started playing the game, Terrell and Royal Guard, I always wanted. I finally got them both about three weeks ago, I'd, I'd like to say. And here's why I've always liked him. He's got a really good kit. His, his overall kit is fantastic. He is more of a mid to late game champion, though. Early game, you can still use him for a lot of things. We'll go over his skills right here. You can still use him early game to 50, 65% chance to place a 60% decrease defense, which is very strong. Of course, he's got his AoE that does damage based on enemy max HP and his attack. Again, super strong. And then this third attack, it attacks four times at random, can place the decreased speed on it, 30%, and then also lowers the turn meter by 25% per hit. That is crazy. His whole kit has always been amazing. He looks really cool. Just a good champion. So if you want to use him, also he's got a good aura for, for attack as well in dungeons. So if you want to use him early game, you can. If you want to use him early game clan boss, of course you can. You can use him with the decreased defense. You can use it with the takedown to do damage based on enemy max HP. He's not optimal for clan boss, but if you're a new game, if you're a new player, if you're a mid-game player and you want to use him for that, you can. Dungeons is where, is where he really shines in dungeons. Of course, he's not that great in PvP unless everybody had crazy HP out there, but he's not really a, PP, a PvP champion as well. He's more of a, a dungeon champion, and that's what he really excels at. He's super good at it. Late game, he is so much fun to build, so much fun to play around with clearing waves, doing bosses, doing spiders. He's good in dragons. He's good in spiders. He's good in ice golem keep, so you can't beat that. All 20s of those, and he is good to go in. Let's look at another, oh, let's look at his gear and stuff before people yell at me and say, Stu, I didn't get to see each piece of his gear and stuff. So here we are. Here are his total stats. He's got 33,000 HP. He's got 3,400 attack, 1,400 defense. We've got a speed right here. I want 100% crit, and I want 230 crit damage. Once you're in-game, 230 crit damage, especially with 30 coming from Masteries, is very, very easy to do. You know, most of the in-game, like, good players have him up around 2... 270 so it's crazy they can get it much higher for crit damage and do a lot more and i also want good accuracy on him too because i want to be able to land those debuffs he has really good debuffs sometimes when i'm in ice golems 20 he's my only guy that can do the one the one target hit on those two side champions of the ice golem to do the decreased defense to speed up those runs so i bring him in there he's great for it really great and then also let's go over his gear really quick here we go i'm gonna click on him fast fast guys fast if you're curious of what he's got you might have to pause it I hope I didn't go too fast, but <laughs> here you go. So let's go over his masteries. So what I have on him are is I have the precision, crit and crit damage. I have takedown. No, that's not takedown. I have the single. Actually, I'd like to go into takedown. I should go into takedown, but then I'd have to remove evil eye or cycle of magic. And I can remove cycle of magic. It's not that important. Or I could remove evil eye since I'm not using him in PvP, but I do like this on spider or whatever else. But I would like this. 6% attacking targets with higher max HP. A lot of times that's gonna happen in the 20 dungeons, almost everybody. I also have Cycle of Violence because on that skill too, he's gonna to do a lot of damage. He gets a chance to lower a cooldown on his skill. And then I came down here to Flawless Execution for the additional critical damage. Now, some people are liking Helm Smasher, but it's percentage base. So I'm just gonna go with crit damage. Whatever you decide to do is up to you. And then I wanna go down here and I want to get him a chance to, to extend his debuffs. I know a lot of people just want to use him for a skill too, but I want to go in there and I want to make sure that I can extend the debuffs that he has for that decreased defense and for his slow speed. It's great. And then also I want to give him more of a chance to do the decreased defense and the slow speed and lower the turn meter. So there we go. So we've got this little addition, a little additional accuracy as you can see. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. Trying to go through this. So let's jump him inside some dungeons and see how he does. Let's go over here first because we can get a glimpse of, of something else. Whoa, who's that? Who is that girl? So let's roll this and see see how long this takes. And then we're going to jump into spiders and then we're going to jump into ice golems and that will be it. I will show you those three things. This, spiders, and ice golems and we'll be good to go. Because these guys for, their, <laughs> for this group isn't that hard to take down. We have Zephyr Sniper. Level 60 in here, so we're going to see what we can do with Zephyr Sniper, right? She is an uncommon barbarian. Hopefully, we'll be able to... I've got some ideas for her. Whether they work out or not, I don't know. We'll see in the next video, right? First, I need to get Masteries on her, though, and, and then and then we'll be, able to, we'll be able to play around and see what she can do. So I really hope we get done with this run so we can see. Again, Royal Guard. Bring him into Dragons 20. Bring him into Spiders 20. Ice Columns 20. 
And then if you're leveling up, if you're not up to the 20s yet, bring him into whatever you're in as well. Now I do have HP armor on him. If you need to make him defensive, don't worry about when you're coming up, don't worry about doing 100% crit and then high crit rate. You wanna survive. If you're dead, you can't do any damage, right? So you wanna survive. So if you're coming up in the game, do whatever you gotta do to make him tanky. You can go defense percentage gloves, HP chest, speed boots, and just rely on him doing, and then get decent accuracy, rely on him doing his debuffs, and then just doing whatever damage he does on a skill too whenever you fight somebody that has a lot of HP. There is nothing wrong with that at all. Coming up, you wanna do that. You want your guys survivable. You wanna make sure they can take some hits, and then they'll dish out the damage, that's fine. As you get up further and further, you're, you're gonna, of course, change how you gear your champions. You're gonna have more support. You're gonna be able to run through the waves faster and easier. And then you can make them like, like I have them right now and like a lot of other people have them with really high crit damage, 100% crit, and just make him <laughs> super DPS, right? Not that mine is, but you could make him like that once you get there. So let's go over here. Let's look at spiders really quick because that's where a lot of places where you'll see a royal guard in with some cold hearts in spiders 20 or coming up in spiders, any of the spiders, because the spider has really high, I don't know why we're in dragons. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how I get those two confused. All right, let's go over here to spiders. Spiders 20, we are gonna change out this stuff for, we're gonna go with dark Aethel, even though I should put him in lead. We are gonna go with another cold heart, and who should we do? Who would give us a couple more turns? Let's go with, man eater or should we go with bellower let's see let's see what happens with beller where are you at there he is all right let's see what happens so what we're going to do and instead of bringing in legendaries and stuff just to show off just to show royal guard do some damage we can do that without having to bring in some legendaries and, and make it like that so we get dark Aethel at the 90 day login she can do the decrease defense of 60 percent which is very good so i've got her fast enough to be able to do that do i want to slow everybody down a little bit or do i want to decrease their attack and defense let's let's do this let's decrease their attack and defense because we're about to oh we got some stuns that'll help cold heart <laughs> all right here we go royal guard all right, so he did one build. That's not bad. We don't have a weaken on here. We do have the 60% decreased defense, but we don't have the 25% weaken. So of course these people would be hitting a lot harder. This was a level 50 cold heart. I don't think we're gonna be able to rotate back around. Let's do this AOE slow speed. Dark Aethel is built. She is made for spiders. You get her at 90 days. She is a spider queen, right? That's what her skills are for. Her skill three is all about spiders, but she's not, she's not. I have a level 60 review on Dark Aethel with good gear on and running through everything. She is terrible. She's like a royal guard, but without all the good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and try to drop the turn meter. We're going to do skill three, attack four times at random. So we're going to at least get one attack on the spider boss. We should and drop that turn meter at least by 25%, I hope, because we've already got the decreased defense. We don't need to do a skill one. Okay, we didn't get a, <laughs> we didn't get a decrease. We're going to be in trouble here. We're going to be in trouble here. Let's see what else we can do. Can we kill anybody? Man, Dark Aethel is sad. Even though she's not in DPS gear, that's fine. I understand she's not going to be doing a lot of damage, but still, she's she should. Dark Aethel, if her skill, skill three was based off of enemy max HP, she'd be pretty good. She'd be pretty good. Let's see if we can just hold out to get another, get another Royal Guard damage. Get another damage by Royal Guard up. And then we're going to jump into Ice Golems where it'd actually probably be more enjoyable because right now it looks like we're going to get killed. <laughs> yep. And she healed up, so we're not, we're not going anywhere with this one. You know how spiders, you know how spiders does. It is crazy. So let's go ahead and okay, get off that ability. What's going on? All right, we've got another turn. I... <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Even if we could show Royal Guards next ability, which I'm sure we can, they'll probably kill the other two first. Maybe him. He's pretty low. It's gonna we're gonna die anyways. We're gonna die anyway. So that that did not work out. I didn't expect it to work out anyways. We were just showing Royal Guard in there. So if you have Royal Guards, if you have Cold Hearts, you know the ways to do it in there. Drop the defense by 60%, get the weaken up, do the Royal Guards, do the Cold Heart, and make it through easy. So here we go. We have them in this team. We are just going to hit go. We have Terrell as well in here. We have Man Eater, which we've seen recently. Actually, I forgot to put crit, crit Gloves or at least adjust Man Eater's crit to make it higher. I could do all 100% crit on him with some other gear. But I think it's easier for me with Maneater right now because I have gear spread out over 70 different champions to just put crit gloves on him. And I think I just got some recently because I don't usually keep crit gloves. But I want to make sure that he does that attack down every time he hits. I also just did a Maneater guide recently as well. And basically what happens with all the comments that I read from everybody 
is if the enemy, all the enemies out there, if all the enemies do not have attack down on them, he will not siphon. He will do his skill one again, which is wrong. It should not be programmed that way. He should do a siphon. A siphon is very strong. A skill two, which absorbs their turn meter and gives it to him and takes it away from them, it's really, really strong. So if you've been watching Royal Guard, you've been seeing him do his AoE. And we're going to use him a lot on the boss. Because on the boss, when we get to the boss, you know, everybody's programmed not to do their AoE. But I need the decrease, I need the decrease defense to speed up the runs, to take down those side minions faster. If we don't have decreased defense like this up, which that came from Terrell because it was AoE, but we're not going to, he's not programmed to do AoE because we don't, we don't want to hit the boss, drop him below those thresholds, and then he's going to kill all of us when he attacks with his two side champions up. We don't want that to happen. So Royal Guard is going to be the one that goes in there, drop that turn meter. Whoa, whoa, we're having problems here. This isn't... <laughs> okay, we're, we should be okay. We should be okay. I hope. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Okay. I thought it was getting dicey there for a minute. Now, I have had Royal Guard attack everybody here when they had to reflect up, when everybody had to reflect up, and it killed them straight out. Just because <laughs> so much... So much reflect damage. Usually I go, even with this team, because I just ran this team a minute ago just to make sure before I recorded this, it was a lot faster. It never seems to work out the same, right? RNG, always different. But again, Royal Guard is a lot of fun. Of course, I'm going to make mine stronger. I'm going to get his I'm going to get his crit damage up higher. I'm going to make sure he can hit harder. But in my Spiders team with my 60 Cold Heart, one, one Royal Guard, one Cold Heart. I have Martyr in there. I have Bad L in there. Um, whoever else, I don't try to do a manual team. I always do it auto because then I can just go off and do whatever else. He is fantastic. I can bring him into spiders. He's great. I can bring him in here, which I do. I want to use him in here all the time. I have no problem bringing Royal Guard and Ice Golems 24 7 because now he's the one that's going to put this. He's going to put the decreased defense up. And then when the two side guys are down, he will use his AoE attack based on enemy max HP and it hits really hard. It'll drop the boss down a lot. So it'll speed things up a little bit. So you should use them again. If you if you have Royal Guard, I'm sure you I'm sure you've heard about them. I'm sure you used them. This is not anything new. Royal Guard has been around forever. We've been using them. Royal Guard was used back on stage 15 spiders before we had stage 20s. He was used then as well. People did enjoy him and were very successful with him. He wasn't as used much on he wasn't used as much on other things because at 15 it was a steamroll. We could run through Dragon 15 with almost anything very easy. So it wasn't a big deal. You could bring a lot of things in Dragons 15 back when 15 was the max and just light it up. So it wasn't that big of a deal back then. But now that everything has such high high HP, high defense, you know, we've got level 20s of everything. He is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So that we should wrap this up. That should be it. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you love Royal Guard, how you're using Royal Guard. I'm sure yours as dirty as can be. You're probably lighting up spiders with him. And... Um, you know, if you if you have him in your vault and you want to play him, play him. He's fun. You you will not regret it at all. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm sure we're gonna beat this. I hope I showed all my gear on him. I can't remember now. I think I showed it because somebody told me that I didn't show all my gear on my man eater. I apologize, and I will see you all on the next video.